if you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's morning, beloved. How are you this morning? It is Monday. Monday. Oh, my God. Right? <laughs> it's Monday morning, November the 1st, beloved. It is another day the Lord has made, and we will, we shall. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. Somebody say hallelujah. Glory be to God. Good God's morning, everybody. Good God's morning, Lady K. Good morning, Rachel Graham. Good morning, Pastor Dorsey. Good God's morning, Kanita. Baby Thompson, what's up, girl? Good God's morning to you. Good God's morning to all of you. I pray again that you're having a blessed and a beautiful morning. Good morning, Minister Little. It is another day that the Lord has made, and we will. We shall, beloved. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning, Michelle Satcher. Good morning. Uh, Cardwell, good morning to you. Cardwell, I saw you on here somewhere. Okay, I see you now. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good guys. Morning to you, everybody. Good morning, Minister Ford. Good morning. Good guys. Morning to all of you again. I'm so glad you joined me this morning. Let us get our scripture for this morning. Good guys. Morning to you. Let's get our scripture. Our scripture this morning is going to be coming from the great book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 1 through 3, uh, 1 through 2, I'm sorry. Romans, chapter 13, verse 1 through 2. And it says, everyone must submit himself to governing authorities. For there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Consequently, he who rebels against the authority is rebelling against what God has instituted. And those who do shall so will be bring will bring judgment on themselves. Let me let me read that again. It says everyone must submit himself to governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Consequently, he who rebels against the authority is rebelling against what God has instituted. And those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. Well, good God Almighty. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see what the Lord is saying to this this morning. Ah, good God. Listen, first of all, when we look at the context of this in Romans, um, the, the the writer is trying to, or is saying, you know, listen, God has, it, of course, you're going to have people who rebel, okay? That's what, what was going on. People were rebelling, okay? People were rebelling. Good morning, Paula. Good morning, uh, Benjamin, Patsy Benjamin. People were rebel rebelling. You know, they were like, well, nah, 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 nah. and it's not a third. No, 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 no. They were rebelling. Okay. Um, they want to do their own thing. But the writer comes back and he says, listen, we must submit ourselves to the authorities because the authorities that have been established have been established by God. And so, therefore, if we find ourselves rebelling against the authorities that Christ has put, God has put over us, guess what? We're not rebelling against them. We're rebelling and bringing judgment upon ourselves because of God instituting it. Now, let's take this to spiritual aspects of this, okay? Because that's what this is talking about, all right? Understand, beloved, God gives us um, 
persons who have charge over us. I don't like to use the word rule because some people take that word and they 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 mean it like you know you know I'm I'm your boss you know you bow down to me I'm this I'm that no that is not what Christ is saying okay he is saying in essence that I have given you men and women after my own heart who are responsible for your spiritual aspect of your life. Now, understand now, because we got to put this in perspective. I, and I'm talking about me, me, Bishop Davis, I don't have control over, and I don't try to have control over my, the Victory in Christ United Church members. Okay? When I say that, is that I don't tell them they can't go this place, they can't go that place. Oh, no, you can't drink this. No, you can't do this. No, you can't do that. No, I'm not your Lord. I'm not your ruler. You understand what I'm saying? I'm your pastor. Just like you give an account to God, I also give an account to God. My job is to show you the way. To teach you the word of the Lord. To give you whatever God gives to me at that particular point in time for your life. That's my job. My job is not to control where you go, what you do, this, that, the third. Now, I have a responsibility to teach and to preach and also live the life that Christ has, um, um, that I preach about, Okay. That Christ has given, you know, uh, uh, for me to preach and teach about, to live as an example. All right? So, let's not confuse that. And that should be crossed the border with any pastor, preacher, teacher, whatever. Okay? Now, also understand that because God has made me the set person for Victory in Christ United Church, as well as, you know, in partnership with other leaders for Victory in Christ United United, uh, Victory in Christ, Fellowship of Churches. There are just certain things that we put into place because God has said to put them into place. We are considered the governing authorities. But at no point, shape, and form are we having rule over you. Because I don't have no heaven or hell to put you in. You must understand and you must put everything in its perspective. No man or woman should have any great charge or rule or authority over you when it pertains to your soul salvation because we have no heaven or hell to put you in. God gives us assignments. He gives us charges. Y'all know that song, the song that people say, this charge I have to keep a, a soul to save and some other things that it says. I have a charge to keep that is to teach the word of God and to give you what God has given me for your life, not to control your life. In this aspect, just as Romans said over here, okay, he says to tell us that everyone submit himself to the governing authority. Submitting yourselves, meaning, you know, you're my pastor. If I'm going to be under your leadership, if I'm going to be under your, um, your governing authority through Christ Jesus, then I'm going to be submissive or humble to what the, to the spirit of God that's resting on the inside of you. And as long as, listen to me carefully. As long as that spirit, as long as me, your pastor, is not telling you to go jump off the bridge. <laughs> you should have no problem with submitting to the authority. Because if you are under my leadership, listen to me carefully. If you're under my leadership, then therefore you have already said that I believe the God in you. I trust the God in you that you won't lead me astray, but that you will guide and guide and, and, and cover my heart and cover my soul and teach me what is right. Mm. That's what that is saying. 
<laughs> then he says on in the scripture here, he says, because there is no other no authority except that which God has established. God has established authorities for our own good. And it is up to us. Up to us. Come on. It's up to us to allow those authorities to do what God is saying to do concerning us. Consequently, when we rebel against what God is speaking, when we rebel and we try and we do our own things, regardless of what the pastor has taught, regardless of what the pastor has said, we bring judgment upon ourselves. I'm just telling you what the word says. Now, understand, and I get it. Many people have abused their authority. Many people have um, and, and are, you know, abusing the people of God that they have been given charge over. All I could tell you is to use common sense. Use common sense. Use common sense. And, and, and you know, and I'm going to find this scripture because the Bible talks about a, a, a church who rebelled against their leader because their leader was not teaching them Christ's way. It was, he was teaching them their, his way. What he wanted them to do. You have to be very careful. Use the spirit of discernment. No one should have rule over you. So much so that you got to ask them to go to the bathroom. That you got to ask them if you can have some wine. That you got to ask them if you can go to the movies. If you got to ask them if you can go out to, you know, um, um, to, to celebrate amongst other brothers and sisters. No one should have charge and rule over you to that certain extent. Now, if the Bible says that, you know, it, the Bible says that, you know, we know when we know better, we do better. If we don't know better, then there is no fault and blame in, in, to, towards us because we don't know. Now, there are some things that pastors teach and pastors don't, you know, have, haven't said or, or, or God says it's not time. You have to be governed by the churches um, that pastors and what God has set in order for that house. Don't be a renegade because you want to have your own way. Be like the child who, 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 because their parents are trying to help them and lead them in the right way, they feel like they're, they, they are missing something. No, honey. No, honey. Mom and dad are trying to prevent you from doing things that they have done. Why reinvent the wheel when the wheel has already been created and all you got to do is go along with it? Come on, we, we'll, we'll talk about this a little later. I don't have the time today, but I'm, I'm just giving you and hopefully that you'll understand. Use the spirit of discernment. I know that there's some pastors who have, you know, um, abused the people of God. But I believe that there are other pastors like myself who truly and sincerely have the heart of God for the people of God and won't steer you differently. Remember, the good shepherd, the shepherd is that one who guards, who shields, you know, the sheep. Because sometimes the sheep, you know, they, they're real skittish. They're scary. The sheep sometimes get out of hand and they have to be brought back. That means, that means, that means you, you will accept, hello, rebuke. You will accept correction when it's done and, 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 and considered in the right manner. Oh, Lord God, help us, Lord. <laughs> help us, Lord. Okay. All right. We love you. There's nothing you can do about it, okay? Um, and I pray that, that you know you you've gotten this. And, and if you don't understand, please, if you if you if you if you if you have some question or thoughts in your mind, please inbox me, okay? Inbox me. Let's talk about it. All right? Because sometimes we think you know our our leaders are 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 you know trying to have rule over us when they're really just guiding us if you have submitted to a pastor submit yourself stop being a, re a rebel submit yourself 
Ask God to, 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 to make sure that he gives you the spirit of discernment so that you can, you know, make sure you put it in proper perspective. You know how to read the word of God. Come on now. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, God, for your word this morning. We thank you for the opportunity to commune and fellowship with you. God, we thank you ah, that you've allowed us to come together once again. God, to study and to hear a word from you. And Father, I pray that we all can put it in right perspective. I pray, oh God, that we all use the spirit of discernment. And I pray, God, that if we are submitted to, to the authority that you have placed in our man and our woman of God, God, that we will be able to submit to that 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 will submit to your will and submit to the authority that you have placed in them, that they will lead us and guide us into all truth. God, help us open up our ears and our eyes. You said, try the spirit by the spirit. So God, help us, Lord. Continue to give us pastors of our own heart. Lord, let us be humble and submissive to your will and not ours. We thank you. We give you praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Bless those who are watching this morning. Bless those that will watch this later. Oh, God, and bless those that may have already been on this morning that they too will understand your word. Be submissive to your will and to your way. We give you glory and honor. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, beloved, go back and read, okay? Um, not trying to be funny, but reading is fundamental, okay? Um, we perish for a lack of knowledge, all right? And I believe that if you have a good uh, man or woman of God, that's your pastor, submit yourselves, okay? Submit yourselves to their authority. Submit yourselves, you know, to their teachings, and watch what God does. And I promise you, if they're out of order, God will get them and he'll show you. Okay? All right. Well, good guys morning, everybody. Good guys morning to you. Good guys morning, first lady. Y'all say good morning to first lady. Good guys morning again. Um, w. Fred Cowell, good morning to you. Good guys morning, Sister Perry. Good guys morning, Shelley. Good guys morning, Minister Little. Good guys morning, Baby Thompson. Good guys morning, Latoya Davis Bennett. Good guys morning to you. Good guys morning, Rachel Graham. Good guys morning, Pastor Dorsey. Good guys morning, Evangelist Tony. What's up? Good guys morning to you all. Good guys morning to you. I'm trying to make sure I ain't miss everybody, anybody. Good guys morning, Sister Woods. Good guys morning to you. Good guys morning to you. Paula, what's up? Good guys morning to you. Good guys morning, Michelle Satcher. Good guys morning. Good guys morning to all of you. Patsy Benjamin. Good guys morning to you. Minister Ford. Good guys morning to you. Good guys morning to you. Good guys morning, Kanita. Good guys morning. I think I said everybody. Good guys morning to everybody. Y'all. Hey, Kyla. How you doing, Kyla? Listen, Marcus, remind me to tell you something, okay? First lady told me to tell you something, but I forgot. Remind me to tell you something, okay? All right. Good guys morning, everybody. Y'all have a blessed and a beautiful Monday. Listen, it's Monday. It's a new week. Old week has passed away. It's time for you to get your, get yourselves together. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get on. Let's move. Let's do it. God's got new possibilities. He's got new grace. He's got new blessings. Listen, let's get it. It's time for you to get it. Let's go. <laughs> Good guys morning to you. We love you. There's nothing you can do about it. And we will see you tomorrow. The same time, same place for another Good Guys Morning moment. Good guys morning to you. If you want to hear, want to hear. an inspiring word that will get you your day if you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ so tune in to good God's morning